Elon Musk taught himself rocket science by reading textbooks. Warren Buffett reads 500 pages a day. Bill Gates finishes 50 books a year. What do they know that you don't? Reading doesn't just give you information. It physically restructures your brain. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how this happens. Backed by neuroscience. Your brain on books versus scrolling. Your brain works in two completely different ways. Depending on what you're doing right now. When you scroll social media, your attention span shrinks to about 8 seconds. You get quick dopamine hits, but you retain almost nothing. Your brain processes information at the surface level. And the more you scroll, the harder it becomes to focus on anything that requires deep thinking. But when you sit down with a book, everything changes. MIT researchers tracked brain activity during reading sessions. They found that sustained reading increases your concentration span by 50%. Not just while you're reading, but permanently. Your prefrontal cortex lights up. This is the part of your brain responsible for critical thinking, decision-making, planning, and solving complex problems. It's essentially the CEO of your brain. Every time you pick up your phone instead of a book, you're making a choice. You're choosing between rewiring your brain for distraction or rewiring it for intelligence. And the scary part? Your brain is always rewiring. The question is, in which direction? The hidden benefit, emotional intelligence. Now here's something that surprised even the researchers. Reading fiction makes you better with people. When you read a novel, you step inside a character's mind. You experience their thoughts, their fears, their motivations, their conflicts. Your brain has to simulate what it's like to be someone else. Neuroscientists call this theory of mind. The ability to understand that other people have thoughts and feelings different from your own. And here's what's interesting. The same brain regions that activate when you read about a character's emotions are the regions that activate when you interact with real people in your life. Harvard conducted a study on this. They tested thousands of people on emotional intelligence. The ability to read social cues, manage relationships, navigate conflicts. The people who read fiction regularly scored significantly higher than those who didn't. Why does this matter? Because research consistently shows that emotional intelligence predicts success in relationships, in leadership, in your career, even more reliably than IQ does. When you read that novel, you're not just being entertained. You're training your brain to understand the most complex system in the universe. Other human beings. Mental models. Why smart people read everything. Charlie Munger. Warren Buffett's business partner and one of the greatest investors of all time, has this concept he calls a latticework of mental models. Mental models are frameworks for understanding how the world works. And the more mental models you have, the better you think. Here's how reading builds this. When you read philosophy, you gain frameworks for thinking about ethics, meaning, and how to live. When you read psychology you understand why people behave the way they do. When you read history, you start recognizing patterns that repeat across time. When you read science, you learn to think in terms of systems and evidence. But the magic isn't just in learning these models. It's in how they connect. Let's say you read a book about evolutionary biology. Then you read one about economics. Then one about human psychology. Suddenly, ideas from one book start illuminating ideas from another. You see connections nobody pointed out to you. You develop insights that are uniquely yours. This is the compound effect of reading. Day one. You learn one new idea. After a month, you have 30 ideas starting to connect. After a year, you have an entirely different operating system running in your brain. Warren Buffett put it simply. Knowledge builds up like compound interest. The smartest people aren't born with superior brains. 
They just compound their intelligence every single day through reading. The Neuroscience How Reading Changes Your Brain Your brain isn't a fixed machine. It's plastic. It changes based on what you do with it. Scientists call this neuroplasticity. Here's what happens inside your head when you read. Your visual cortex decodes symbols on the page into letters. Your language centers translate those letters into words. Your memory systems pull up everything you already know about those words. And then your brain does something remarkable. It creates new connections between neurons. Stanford researchers used brain imaging to study what happens when people read. They discovered that reading activates more regions of the brain simultaneously than almost any other activity we do. Every time you read, you're building new neural pathways. Think of it like adding new roads in a city. The more roads you have, the faster you can get from point A to point B. The more neural pathways you build, the faster and more efficiently your brain processes information. The density of these connections determines how sharp your thinking is, how quickly you solve problems, how well you remember information, how clearly you express ideas. A person who reads regularly for years has a fundamentally different brain structure than someone who doesn't. Not because they were born smarter, because reading literally built a smarter brain. The challenge. So here's what I want you to do. The 30-Day Brain Rewiring Experiment First, read for 20 to 30 minutes every single day. No exceptions. Treat it like an appointment with yourself that you cannot cancel. Second, choose books that challenge you. Not just easy, comfortable reads. Pick something that makes you think hard, that stretches your understanding. Third, read widely. Don't stay in one genre. Mix philosophy with psychology, science with history, fiction with biography. Each type of book rewires a different part of your brain. Here's what you'll notice. In week one, reading will feel difficult. Your brain will resist. It wants the easy dopamine of scrolling. By week two, something shifts. You start craving reading time. Your focus gets noticeably better. By week four, you're thinking differently. Problems that seemed complicated now feel manageable. Conversations go deeper. Ideas come more easily. The science is clear. Reading rewires your brain for intelligence. The only question left is, what are you going to do about it? Your brain is the most powerful tool you'll ever own. Every day, you decide what to build with it. So what's it going to be?